how we speak, our dialect, says so much about who we are and where we're from. Many of us are very proud of our accents, and rightly so. We've met one Northwest composer that's taken that pride to another level and has been creating classical music inspired by different accents. It's Fleetwood's annual transport festival, but John McHugh isn't here for the spectacle of what locals call Tram Day. He's here to get a feel for the coastal town and its people. His latest piece of work will be based on the Fleetwood accent. The idea is that we're going to explore the heritage of Fleetwood from, from the sound of the voice, from the melodies and the intonations in the voice. Well, you won't find me with a Fleetwood accent I spend most of my time abroad. So you, you would know a lot about the fishing community? Yes, all my family were fishing community. Oh, really? How we speak reveals everything about who we are. If you look at the melody and the way people speak, everything's locked within there. All the family history, immigration, all the industry, all the work, songs, all the stories. So what we're going to try and do over a good few months is try, try and capture that try and capture the, the whole voice of, of the Fleetwood, Fleetwood people. Fleetwood is famous for its once booming fishing industry and plenty of people remember when the harbour was full of boats. We're what it's called in a southerly direction. When it comes from the west, you broadside, so you have to slow the vessel down. John has invited some retired trawlermen to Fleetwood's museum. With the help of a film crew, he'll record their memories. Yeah. We used to do average trip; it'd be 21, 22 days. You couldn't just phone up the wife when you'd had a, a, a bad day, or whatever. You couldn't just go and get a shower or a hot bath. And we was dodging in what you call dodging in all this chopping ice. Minus 20, 25, oh, hell on earth. Great, fantastic to talk to them. I mean, uh, passionate stories. Lovely weather, stop at Wild Eye because you'd miss the tide, go for a swim. To actually get some genuine proper trawlermen with real stories. Just just tell us about what you've been doing in terms of fishing over the last few years. Yeah, the born and bred in Fleetwood and in the fishing industry day. I can't quite comprehend what it must have been like to go away for two or three weeks and then come home for two days or three days and then go back again. It must have been one of the toughest lives. I can't think of anything tougher really apart from going to war. Things what you used to see and think, oh, if I was stuck at home. Back home in Liverpool, John has hours of footage to go through. So, so happy. That's lovely. You were just so, so happy. You were just so, so happy. I write down the important quotes and the themes that come out. Themes could be anything, could be about the weather, could be about the hardship. Um, and this particular sequence here, he's talking about um, when it was calm and he's about two o'clock in the morning and, and the sheer beauty of it and he goes almost into a kind of reverie uh, where he's think, thinking back about the beauty and nature and um, so I, I wrote these quotes down and with, with probably another man's son you know there'd be two or three of us and then you'd get a bit better it, just nice two o'clock in the morning and so that has certain notes and those notes give you this sort of harmony around those, those chords. And there's a certain sort of sereneness and a kind of beauty to it. Um, so I'll just start to put down some ideas. There's some gentleness to it. I imagine whales here. I can see the whales, towing past whales. Um, just, just things what you used to see and think. And there's a certain beauty to see and think. Um, so that's, that's how it starts and that's how it works. And I'll, I'll work with these, these clips um, and just see where it, it takes me. And so on. 
It's interesting because um, often you'll hear people speak and it seems to be quite flat, but when you really listen, um, all speech is music. After months of hard work, it's time for the performance in Fleetwood's Marine Hall. John has booked the very best. He's asked musicians from the Royal Liverpool Philharmonic Orchestra to perform the piece. I'm always nervous, um, but I'm feeling quietly confident. Quietly confident. I'm just looking forward to getting, getting on with it now on the project. I just hope that the people of Fleetwood, that they just like it, and I hope, I hope they go away feeling happier and I'm proud of their town. Everyone's here, including Brian Houghton, the trawlerman who inspired one of the movements. Just things what you used to see and think. You were just... Bah! So, so happy. You were just... Bah! So, so happy. Happy. You were just... Bah! So, so happy. So, so happy. Happy. Two o'clock in the morning. Towing past Wales. Two o'clock in the morning. So, so happy. just really, really well done. He's done hours, days, weeks on end. You can see he's put his heart and soul into that. And, well, the standing ovation, what they got at the end, says it all, doesn't it? The reaction was absolutely incredible because you don't really think about the reaction. You're just focused on, on performing the piece and there's so much to think about. Um, so as soon as you finish those final notes, you take your headphones off and there's always a moment of silence. And then you wait, we wait for the applause, and the applause is just phenomenal. I couldn't, couldn't believe it. I couldn't have asked for more. I've been charmed. I've been really charmed by Fleetwood. First of all, the people. It's a kind of cliche to say that all northern people are friendly, but certainly the people in Fleetwood that I've found to a have been fantastic kind of sense of calmness about the whole place. I can't help but dream and it, to me there's a sense of magic in, in the air. <laughs> 